Hey guys, it's your girl, the really sorry T, and I am back. And today's topic is deliverance is real. Stay tuned. So you guys, I want to start you off first with scripture, okay? We're going to start off Mark 16 verses 17 to 18, okay? And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out demons. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And they shall drink of any deadly thing and it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Okay? So y'all wanted to start that off because it's it, with, with scripture because it's a lot of people out here, you know, they just, they just don't believe. <laughs> you know, they just find it hard to wrap their mind uh, around uh, demons uh, actually influencing people. You know, and I get this question too uh, um, about, uh, you know, uh, um, mental illness and, and schizophrenia, Alzheimer's and stuff like that, y'all. These are demonic spirits, you all. The world called them, you know, they come up with all these different types of names for it, but these are demonic spirits, y'all. And these people need to be delivered okay a ain't no other way you know you can come up whatever you want to come up with y'all but ain't nothing new under the sun and when you go back and look at jesus's life through um matthew mark luke and luke and john he demonstrates this over and over again over and over again was he casting demons out of people you know and I, and I keep telling y'all this, if you're in a church and they do not practice deliverance, okay, they're not practicing what I just read to you that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said that they should be doing, okay, okay, if they represent him, okay, if they represent him, okay, these are some of the things that we should see, we should see, so in other words, we shouldn't have you know, uh, these, these uh, spirits running rampant in the church like we do. If in fact they're doing what Jesus commanded. We shouldn't have people sitting up in the church house riddled with cancer and all other types of diseases. Because he said we shall lay our hands on them and they shall recover. But the thing about it is people just want to run their mouth but they don't want to practice what the word says you know anybody can get up and, and, and get to talking and speaking what the bible says but honey the truth gonna come in when we don't see the actual manifestation of what the lord said we should be seeing what should be taking place if we coming if, if these people are so called coming in his name okay so that is what i want to talk about today and y'all, I, I have my own personal experiences and testimonies that I would like to share with you all. Y'all know I love to share my testimonies with you all. And I'm going to, and I also wanted to share to you all how, um, how I was able to um, even get to the point of deliverance, okay? Y'all, this is, a, um, it's a process for some of us because it's hard like i said it's hard to wrap your mind around these things but you have to start focusing on the unseen world you all you have to start focus focusing on the unseen world stop arguing with these people stop hating people and start dealing with these demonic spirits that's behind these people that's operating through these people that's manifesting through these people okay so um you guys i wanted to share this book with you all I'm sharing this book with you all that I used as a um, stepping stone, okay, to um, do perform self-deliverance on myself. That was the first thing that I did. Now, I'm not saying, hey, this is the route you have to take, but what I'm telling you is it helped me. It helped me get to a point where in my life where I was even able to make it to a, a true woman or man of God to actually get, you know, these strongholds you know, um, um, cast out of me. Okay. These demons cast out of me. <laughs> okay. So let me share y'all. I'm going to share with y'all this book. Okay. It might come up looking backwards. Pigs in the parlor. Y'all, this is the book. This is the book y'all. 
and I got this book on Amazon okay and I use this book to help me perform self-deliverance on myself and I'm going to tell you how this book goes. It's, it's scripture based. First of all, I want y'all to know. Ain't no hocus pocus, no foolishness up in here. It's This is a scripture based book. And what it does is, it's like it pulls out um, uh, how to perform self-deliverance on yourself. Because a lot of times we go to the Bible, we read, we read you know, um, scriptures and we don't understand it. We don't understand how it goes. So what this book does is pretty much pulls it out okay it pulls it out and give you a step-by-step -step instruction and on how to go about performing deliverance on yourself okay and i think this is a great stepping stone because it give it also gives you instructions on what you need to do after you have um performed deliverance on yourself such as um you know stand full of the word of god you know continuing to um watch spiritual teachings to uh, build your faith like you have to continue to be productive in the Lord so these demonic spirits don't try to come back and enter you because when you cast out these demons okay they consider your your body their home and honey they want to come back home where they was used to being for years and years where they was used to uh, running things honey they want to come back to your home i mean to their home which is which they consider your body okay so they, they when you cast these demons out oh they gonna come back and check and see and i'm gonna give you an example for instance let's say you cast out um um sexual impurity or something of that nature you know and these oftentimes these are people that suffer with real lustful spirits you know pervert the spirits of perversion and stuff like that okay don't you think for a minute the enemy ain't finna come back and test you on it okay don't think he won't send a person your way to test you don't think he won't try to entice you with pornography and half-dressed women walking around here in the street okay but it's up to you it, it's up to you to maintain your deliverance after it's done or else these demons can come back and they can bring several more with them okay so i want to put that out there too but this book explains all of that to you all and not only that this book i'm going to find this section in here they have it's just a great starting point you all this book have they have all these demon groupings strong men can you see listed you can tell this book been getting some use for me i got writing all in this book but they have the ones that's in bold okay the ones that's in bold at the top these are the strong men okay like for instance depression okay these are in, in the smaller writings below it these are like the smaller uh things that's under this strong man you know this person may experience suicide okay but that's not the strong man the strong man is depression okay you see what i'm saying so i'm just giving you an example and notice i want y'all to notice how under this spirit of depression is suicide and death i want y'all to take note of that okay Th these are demonic spirits you all all right so I would encourage you all to um, invest in getting this book. This book really will help guide you all, okay? And so after I was able to do the self-deliverance on myself, I was led to go and, um, you know, uh, to a true man or woman of God to have some of those stronger holes broken off of me because it's some demons, some, some demons and, and deliverance that can't, take place through just you know your regular you know casting out demons some some uh, some kinds as jesus could say some kinds only come out with prayer and fasting okay so i'm letting y'all know that too all right but i just wanted to make it plain to you all deliverance is real y'all and if you don't want these demons to destroy your life okay to destroy you and your family because these demons, they, that's, that's their goal, that's their mission. They only shows up to kill, steal, and destroy, okay? There's no way around it. And, you know, people be like, well, can I, you know, what if people have demons, okay? What if I don't go through the deliverance, you know, can I still go to heaven? Let me tell you something. Yeah, you can. 
It's possible. But who want to be tormented by demons? These are the tormentors, y'all. Who want to, when you want to live a, a productive life, when you want to live the life that God has um, in store for you, who would want to live being tormented by demons? Because this is what they do. They torment, they destroy, they influence you to destroy yourself and sometimes kill yourself you know when you see people committing suicide y'all these are the job of demons they speak these these persons without bodies they speak okay they speak to these people they hear voices and these are demonic voices and influence speaking to them encouraging them to take their lives y'all just making it seem like it's just the end of the world you know, it's the end of the word. Nobody loves and care about you anyways. You know, it'll just be better off if you were dead. You know, just all kinds of stupid things, y'all. And when these people are at the lowest point in their life, they actually believe these things. You know, they actually believe these things, y'all. So it's best, it's better to go through deliverance and have these demonic spirits cast out of you. Okay. And, and for the ones, let me tell you now, because it's always ones. It's always somebody. I ain't got no demons. You know, I don't know what you're talking about, honey. I ain't got no demons. Well, let me go ahead and tell you. Every single one of y'all have them. Unless you've been through deliverance. and Or, or unless you Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's the only way you don't have them. Okay? So I'm just letting you know. For the ones who think that they don't, you do. And you need to be delivered. Okay? You need to be delivered. All right, and I'm going to share with you all right quick on how the enemy tried to prevent me from getting deliverance. I'm going to tell you, y'all, let me tell you. Let me tell you how these demons talk to you to try to stop you from getting them cast out of your body. <laughs> okay, it's not even a joke. They want you to keep these little deep, dark secrets, you know, all kinds of, of, of uh, perverted secrets, you know, secrets about molestation, secret about, uh, you know, uh, things that you've done in your past that you know is uh, demonic or goes against the word of God. You know, they don't want you to confess your sin. OK, because if you don't never confess it, you can't defeat it, honey. You cannot defeat it. All right. You, you know, you have to always bring darkness into light, okay? And the word, the word of God clearly tells us, he said, A man that has secret sin shall not prosper, okay? So those secret sins you're carrying around, that's the reason why you're not able to prosper. That's the reason why you're catching all kinds of hell in your life right now, okay? I just want to put that out there. But I said I was going to share the story too, also with you, um, with you all, uh, how this, <laughs> how the enemy tried to use a carpet cleaner. He'll use anybody that he can get access to, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. And so, you know, I just showed y'all my book right here. This particular day, I had my book out when um, the carpet cleaning guy was scheduled to come over to our house and um, do carpet cleaning. It was laying out on the front table and so he took notice of the book he took notice immediately took notice of the book and let me tell you what he said i don't know i don't know if i'll be doing all that I, you know i read that book i got that same book i don't know if i'll be doing all that because let me tell you what happened to me let me tell you what happened to me when i start saying when i start um casting those demons out a demon came out of me and said i'm gonna kill you that's what he said <laughs> and y'all i'm telling you he said it just like that <laughs> it might sound crazy it might sound funny but i'm telling you he was trying to instill fear into me and i know the enemy was using him he was trying to instill fear into into me so I wouldn't go through with this deliverance. So I wouldn't get these demons cast up out of me. But honey, the devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. And honey, let me tell you, it made me want to do it all the more. All the more, all the more, honey. 
You can't be afraid of no demons. Not when you know your power and authority in the Lord, honey. I wouldn't care what appeared and what said what. What demon said what? Because guess what? We have power and authority over these demons. Okay? I'm just trying to let y'all know. And if you don't know your power and authority, you better learn about it, baby. And this is just a little side note, you all. Um, Just because someone goes through deliverance all the time, you don't see um manifestations. But that does not mean that the deliverance didn't take place. You know, it just depends on what type of demon is being cast out. Yeah, sometimes, I'm going to tell you some of the things you can't expect to see. Sometimes um, when people are being delivered and these demons are leaving them, sometimes you hear a lot of coughing. You'll see a lot of crying, sneezing, uh, sneezing, belching. With me, um, I was doing a lot of belching. You know, like they come out in different ways, you all. So don't be afraid to perform deliverance on yourself. So you guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope that this video helps and encourages someone today. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.